everyone, welcome back. I miss you all so much. I hope I can see you soon. To end our geometry unit, we are going to be making an amazing project. And this is the best project of first grade. And I know we're not together, but I still want you to try this out with your family, some siblings, get everyone in the house involved. It's so fun. And it's perfect to make on a rainy day. Are you ready to see what it is? Ta-da! We are gonna be building a tetrahedron kite. Now this is a STEM activity, so we're going to be following the engineering design process. We're going to ask the question, brainstorm, or imagine what it's going to look like. Then we are going to create our tetrahedron kite. We are going to test it out and then find ways to make it better. You might be asking me, Miss Brown, what's a tetrahedron? Well, a tetrahedron is a 3D object. It has triangles as the faces. It has one, two, three, four, five, six edges, and it has one, two, three, four vertices. We are going to be building many tetrahedrons to make an amazing kite that can fly. We might need to be outside for this on a windy day. Are you ready to get started? Your materials are very simple. You need tissue paper, some yarn, straws, a pipe cleaner, some scissors, and some tape. Let's get started. The first step is to grab your yarn and your pipe cleaner. Double knot the yarn around the pipe cleaner. Make sure your yarn is about three feet in length. Move it over to the side. Then I need you to count out six straws. If your straws have bendy tips at the top, you need to cut them off. If they don't, that's great and your tetrahedrons are just going to be a little bit bigger. Move your straws over to the side. Next, you are going to tape the end of your yarn to the table. This is going to prevent it from moving. Now take your pipe cleaner and pass it through the straw. You are going to be adding four straws to the yarn. Next, you need to form these straws into a square. Pass the pipe cleaner through the top straw. This step is really important. Once you have done that, you are going to add another straw to the yarn. Then you are going to lay it across the middle of the square forming two triangles. Take your pipe cleaner and pass it through the bottom straw to the right. You are now ready to add your last straw to the yarn. Cut off any excess string, but leave about two inches of yarn left. Then you are going to untape the one side. You are going to bring the two pieces of string together. Double knot it at the top. You wanna make sure it is as tight as you can make it. Measure about an inch and cut off any leftover string. Ta-da! You have your first tetrahedron completed. Now we are going to add the tissue paper. This is gonna help make the kite fly. Next, you are going to do your best tracing. Leave about an inch on the side so it can wrap around. Make sure an adult helps you with this part. Add some holes on the sides and the top and cut it out. Fold the flaps of tissue paper around the straw. Grab a piece of tape and tape it down tightly. Then you are going to flip the tetrahedron onto the other side. Tape down the flaps. Make sure they are tight because this will help the wind pick up the kite better. You need to make about three more. Take your three tetrahedrons and form them into a triangle. Make sure that the tissue paper is all facing the same direction. We are going to tie all the vertices together. Grab a piece of string and double knot the vertices or points together. Make sure to tie it tightly. That way it doesn't fall apart when your kite is flying in the sky. You can always use the leftover string on the tetrahedron or you can grab a new piece to tie it tightly. Either way works. Take your time when you're tying your knots. You can always ask for a parent or a sibling to help you get this completed. And be careful not to rip the tissue paper.
Take your fourth tetrahedron and lay it on top of the base. You are going to tie the three points to the top of the green, yellow, and blue tetrahedrons. Again, take your string and double knot each vertice or each point. Make sure it's tied tightly. Now it is time to clean it up a bit. You can go back and cut off any excess yarn. Make sure to leave a little left over just in case you need to retie anything. This is awesome! You finished your first kite! Since I wanted to make mine a little bigger, I decided to make 10 tetrahedrons total and build off of my base. I put six on the bottom, three in the middle, and one on the top. This will help the kite catch the wind better and fly higher. You can do a smaller kite, a bigger kite, or even use different size straws. You can experiment to figure out which ones fly better. Now, to finish up your tetrahedron kite to make it fly, you're gonna take the rest of your yarn or any kite string. You're going to tie it to the top of your tetrahedron kite. And you wanna tie this really tight. I would triple knot it if I were you. And then you have your kite. Now, it may take you several tries to get it off the ground, so it's best to do it on a windy day. I hope you have fun with this project and completing it with your family. Just make sure to fly it on a windy day between seven to 11 miles per hour. <laughs> Have fun.